We will have our broadcast section start today and then we'll do a daily section. And <coughs> to begin today, we'll go to James Cole at Sky Sports News. James. Hi, Graham. How's the injury list looking? Anyone due back? Um, no, I would say no. I, I think um, Ruben was on the bench uh, the last match uh, to, to, to be on the bench, essentially, but he's a, a lot closer now, so he can play more minutes. The uh, boys are progressing well. Um, Reese has joined team training but won't be involved at the weekend same as Ben Chilwell um, and then everybody else is pretty much where we were Donny Madweke what can you tell us about him? Uh, nothing really it's, uh, there's, uh, I know there's a lot of noise around there but at the moment nothing to announce the club hasn't announced anything and I'm not in a position to to speak anymore until he's, a, until he's a Chelsea player then nothing further to say Do you know about his background though his qualities he might bring? Uh, yes, yes. Can you share those? No. <laughs> you, you don't know, you're not willing to tell us what, he'll, what sort of player he is? I will if he's a Chelsea player. I don't like to talk about players that aren't Chelsea players. Right, OK. And um, Mudrick is a Chelsea player. He is. How's he settled in? Good, really good. Um, young player, exciting player, um, fantastic speed, 1v1, can attack the back line um, and now we're just going to help him adapt to the Premier League, adapt to us. Um, he's obviously come from a mid-season break, so hasn't played so much football recently but has been training well. So we'll obviously assess him and see how much he can play at the weekend. How likely is he to make his debut? Um, yeah, there's a chance. You feel he's ready to go? Straight into well, again, it's how much how much he can do. Uh, I think ninety minutes, no, but um, there's a, there's probably a role for him at some stage in the game. He's still young, but he's, there's a lot of expectation and hype on his shoulders. How do you ensure that he, he settles in? That doesn't affect him. And he's a smooth transition. Yeah, I think you've just got to help him, um, <clears throat> help him understand, and help everybody understand that he's coming from a different country, a different league. So we have, he has to adapt, like I said, to us, to the to the competition. He's a young player that's um, got a lot of potential, a lot of upside. And at the same time, he's had some really good experiences already. So, exciting player. He made his fondness of Arsenal very clear throughout the process. Is, is his heart definitely blue now? Um, well, he's, he's come in and he's trained very, very well and he's very happy to be here. So, uh, all the other stuff I have no comment on. Um, he's... he's uh, He's looking forward to his career here and he's excited to get started. And how many more transfers are likely, do you think, in this window? I, the Chelsea I, fans expect. I don't think there's going to be too many, to be honest. Are you happy with that? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I'm, so I've got no complaints about the, about the squad. I think I've said before, uh, the January window is very complex. Um, you might want A, B and C, but A, B and C aren't available. So, in terms of positional need, um, but at the same time, you're always looking to strengthen your team, and I think we've done that. I think we've strengthened the squad. It's exciting the players we have, um, and when obviously players come back, there's a, a good squad of players there and exciting squad of players. John Southall, Five Live. <coughs> you talk about players coming in, and do you need to do you need to move some players on? Obviously, you've got a lot of players now, a lot of wingers in a similar position. I mean, not necessarily in January, but maybe in the summer. Can, is that something you need to look at? Well, I think constantly you've got to analyse the squad, analyse where where it's at, how you can strengthen it. Sometimes it's adding, sometimes it's for the good of everybody uh, moving out. But again, um, that's on a case-by-case -case basis and we'll look at that as, as and when. Where you sit now, 10th in the Premier League, out of the FA Cup, what, what would constitute a successful season, would you say, from, from where you are now? Um, being Liverpool is my focus. I don't worry about what's going to happen in, what, five months' time. Um, we have to keep improving we've been through a really tough time we're, we're still together as a team still together as a club um, so that's that's uh, very positive there's a lot of uh, things to look forward to in terms of the players that are that are available for us returning from injury the players that we've signed um, the understanding that we have as a group together has, has got more and more because of the time we've had so um, 
yeah, I don't think it's at this point worth worrying about what the season finishes and what it looks like then. We have to just focus on the next game. You mentioned Liverpool. Have you been surprised by <coughs> their start to the season and the struggles they've had? Do you, do you think they look vulnerable? Well, I don't think it's about surprise. I think it's about uh, no matter who you are. And Liverpool, you're talking about one of the best teams the Premier League has ever seen. Uh, with one of the best managers the Premier League has ever seen and you know that if you have key key players missing you have problems then the Premier League can, can you know, it amazes me how people talk about the Premier League being the best t- league in the world and then not, uh, asked about, I'm asked about whether it's surprising if people struggle in it it's like well, well <laughs> there's two positions here you know that's uh, that's what it is Jürgen's a fantastic guy a fantastic manager uh, they'll 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 fix it. They'll uh, they'll come through the, the the struggles, and then we all know their quality. That's also one one last one on Mark Cucurella. Obviously, he came here at a big price. Is he, is he slipping down your packing order? He's, he hasn't featured much recently. Obviously, he didn't come on at the weekend. No, not necessarily. I think some players have. You know, there's some dips in form. Um, uh, different solutions, different options in the game. That's sometimes the case. Uh, Lewis Hall has done well. We have to manage his games and his role because he's a young player just starting out. Um, Mark's had a lot to deal with as well in terms of you know. You know sometimes these things happen. In how you settle into a team, how you settle into a club, how you settle into a, a new group. Do you think? Uh, um, I think it's been challenging for him. Yeah, he's had some things off the pitch as well, family-wise, that have been difficult for him as well. So. Again, there's many factors. Sometimes it's simplistic. You just see the guy on the pitch and you, you know you have a verdict on him, but there's all sorts of things going on in his life. Um, I obviously, I know Mark well. I know Mark at his best. He's a, he's a, he's a top player. Alex, Hi, Graham, how are you? Hi, good, thank you. As you just said, Chelsea have been through a really tough time, but was that win against Crystal Palace enough to transform the mood around here? Was it as simple as that? Well, no, but I think um, <clears throat> we'd had a period of of, of um, suffering shall we say and um, it's nice to win and, and I think the, the good thing was during that period we were together we were um, you know it wasn't up in flames here it was a, a group that understood the position we were in but at the same time determined and focused to try to to turn it around and at the same time have the maturity and the intelligence to understand the situation as well without without um, Disrespecting the criticism and all the rest of the noise that comes your way when you don't get the results that you that you should at Chelsea. So um, the win has been important for us, but it's just a win. We need to back it up and we need to go to Liverpool and, and play well and try to get the three points. Are you confident you can get a result? You know what it takes to win at Anfield? Well, yes, I'm confident, but I also respect Liverpool. I respect Anfield. I respect the challenge. It's a tough place to go at any point. It's a fantastic football club and... Like I said, Jurgen's a top manager, and they're a top team. But um, you know, I like the team at the moment for us. I like the the, the fact that we've come through a, a tough spell. There's a, a good feeling. Players are coming back. New players arriving. There's there's a there's a there's a buzz. I think in the training ground. So it's, that's nice. Just finally, a lot of new faces around here. What does that do to the dynamic of the squad? And is that another big challenge for you to ensure that they all gel together? Yes, it is. Um, you know, you can speak about culture and speak about environment. Um, it's essentially about people. And it's about trying to create a team. It's trying to, trying to create a group, and that's ultimately my my challenge uh, as we go. Um, we've had different challenges as we as we uh, as I reflect back on my time here, and that's the one going forward now to integrate new players into the group. A feeling of togetherness. We've got a lot of exciting things coming up, so we need to be ready. Okay, last question in the broadcast section. Adam Newson. Hi, Greg. Hi. After this game, you have about two weeks to work with your squad. It's not something you've had a great deal of throughout your time here. So, how important is that going to be for you as a coach and for the players to fully get up to speed with, with your demands and, and going into the second half of the season? Yeah, it's two weeks. It's an important period for us. Um, when you consider that we've got some new faces, um, players coming back from from injury, so it's going to be an important period and um, one we're looking forward to. Obviously, we need to focus on the game first and and uh, get, out that, get that out of the way and, and, and recover from that. But yeah, it's, uh, we'll use the time as best we can.